Steve is turning in his grave. <laughs> I'm speaking to you. This is one of those, here I am, symbol of American victory. Cold War, gone, done. Um, yes, thank you very much. Another Princetonian, so those of you who are, hello. Um, I wanted just to say a few words about Dr. Billington because when I was a Soviet, and I was a Soviet, uh, in Moscow in the late 1970s when Leonid Brezhnev was already running the country into the ground. Um, and as some of you may remember, Nikita Khrushchev, my great-grandfather, did promise that communism would be built by 1980. So we were pushing 1980 and communism was nowhere in sight. Um, so many of us, in fact, probably most of the country were reading some is that books. So there was the self-published books, the published books published in the West um, to understand what's wrong with Russia, why communism is not coming and probably will never come, and uh, what it is about America that really makes it so successful. One of the books that I read uh, when I was 12 years old, and by the way, I was reading it together with Vladimir Nabokov's, uh, or as you say in America, Nabokov, uh, Lalita, very famous book. Uh, I was reading them together. Both of them, I think, were um, printed or typed on a typewriter. Both of them were in a green cardboard color cover, and I was reading them some side by side. One was, as I mentioned, Lalita. Another one was James Billington's book, The Icon in the Axe, Ikona i Tapor, uh, in Russian. It was unofficially translated because that book really tells Russians and everybody else what Russia is. It's an icon and an X. I was reading it under the cover because I was afraid that somebody may spot me and report me to the authorities, which still was a danger even in the late uh, 1970s. That was the book that changed my mind about Russia, but also changed my view about the world. Because when I read that, I thought being a Russian is great, but I actually really would like to be a foreigner. I would like to see how it is to see Russia from the other side. So I do want to say that, yes, NATO, by the way, Khrushchev is certainly turning in his grave uh, in regard to NATO, uh, but it's not really the American bombs that change our minds, it's the books. And the book by James Billington really was the book that brought us brought us into this world today. And to conclude, if you really want to know what Vladimir Putin is up to, what Russia wants, and how it wants it, I would like to send you back to The Icon and the Axe, the book written in 1966. It has been 50 years. It's the best book ever written about Russia. Thank you, James Billington.